Guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. And today's gonna be another day. I'm about to drive to Jason's place, which is about two and a half hours away. And we're gonna start working again on this amazing Mercedes W124 300 E black on black. There's gonna be a lot of stuff that we're planning to do to today. So hopefully there's gonna be a lot of, you know, interesting content. So stay tuned. I can't wait to get this car back on the road. And Jason and his dad are gonna be there too. Uh, so should be a lot of fun should be a lot of help and should be able to do a lot of stuff I don't know personally what exactly we will accomplish today, but we want to do a lot of cleanup uh, I also uh, got some grease brake fluid with me and um, We're gonna try to give it all the love that we can so stay tuned should be a lot of fun guys guys we almost arrived and yeah for you guys it was literally really fast for me it was like about two hours so let's start uh, working on this amazing car okay well here's an amazing owner Jason of this uh, W124 and he already started doing a bunch of stuff to it as you guys remember it was sitting right there he pulled it out right here so we can work on it today and he did a lot of work he started taking all these plastic pieces off and panels so we can actually get to this blower motor oop that was my bad That's okay. that was my bad i think it fell uh, on the ground but <laughs> we'll we'll find those screws <laughs> yeah that was definitely my bad um but uh yeah as you can see there's so much junk and literally underneath of this that's where that drain is and that's what's causing all that water to get inside the car uh, so we have to definitely take care of that. Uh, I brought some brake fluid as well. It would be nice to actually, uh, you know, do the brake flush on this car. Yeah. Uh, we're probably going to end up pulling these uh, seats so we can vacuum everything nicely. And uh, all that still needs a lot of love. But, you know, um, slowly but surely. And it's a nice day today. It's pretty sunny. So, yeah, we're about to get to work on this amazing car. Very clean yeah so we're about to get this thing cleaned up and all that yeah I, I yeah get to, to get all to all the crevices and all that and I'd make like this thing cleaned up i meant yeah. to use my shop vac today mm -hmm. but the generator's not here that's okay that's okay i mean we'll we'll uh no worries we'll we'll yeah. figure it out Plus I figured with when, that. when it's dry we'll yeah the kind of because mm -hmm. like, you can yeah try to suck a bunch of it out and then also yeah. stick the blower right on blower put it exactly. down in there exactly i got a couple of brushes though yeah it would be a good idea to wrap some of these uh, electrical wires because they're a little bit some of them are chewed up weirdly yeah. like this green one right here too okay there's a couple air start pulling the seats we'll find them sure oh yeah oh yeah well we got the jason got the wiper assembly out and look at all this garbage. Look, it's all clogged up and everything. And that's why you're getting all the water inside of it. Yep. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of trash. That's strange. I don't think that's factory. This yellow thing, what is that? I noticed there's some spots under here that mm -hmm. do have electrical tape. So someone has probably been in here. Yeah. Let's just hope they didn't do too much damage. Is this, uh, no, no, so this one, actually, you don't have to... Let me see. This... Okay, we gotta undo this clip. This is just that clip right there. Like that. And that right there. There you go. Ooh, yeah. That's your blower motor right here. It sure is. No oh boy. Let's look and see if this. That's your blower motor fuse. 
appears to be still fine. So it did work. Like I, I would be able yeah. to turn it on. Just have to take it off and sand it a little down because of corrosion. But yeah, it, uh, it was just really weak. Like I mm -hmm. could hear it come on and I yeah. could feel air yep. coming out of the vents, and it was blowing heat. Yeah. But, Ooh, um, look at yeah. that. Yeah, if you want, I have gloves right there. If you oh, want you those. Uh, yeah. If you want those, uh, the rubber ones. So much junk. Yeah, they're really useful. I like them. Look at that. Well, these are going to be handy now to clean all this up. I know, it's mainly is finding the tools. It is a kick though. Yeah, all oh, nice. Yeah, that will work. So just grab that and just like that. Okay. And, the whole thing and now uh, these wires, we have to disconnect these two wires. Kind of clean it. You can, uh, but I mean, you can't. So the, the problem with this is that um, on this model, you have. Uh, you can't even take this one out properly so you would have to have the dash off or uh, you know in order for you to be able to remove this heater box so we're just gonna we're just gonna have to do our best here with cleaning all this area yeah right definitely. and then underneath as well we we'll just have to run through some garden hose or something right. make sure that drain on the bottom is clear yeah uh see the later models later w124s actually had the cabin filters so oh. you didn't have to really worry about you know this area getting dirty or something you know uh -huh. uh, but the early models they didn't have the filters just yet and look at that it's, it has the original windshield on it too look yes. at that sticker that's crazy i was uh yeah. i was noticing a couple chips on here but they should that's be okay repairable yeah it's not With, a huge deal yeah there's about i found three of them so far but I, yeah is it hard to source the windshield for no nah, okay. no nah, it's uh they have like used ones they have i think even uh new ones i think they still make them uh oem oh, wow. i mean they even have the aftermarket ones too so i mean it's it's not a huge deal it's yeah. so you can find that stuff yeah yeah we'll pull the seats out and uh we will uh, start oh. cleaning all this uh, also i got these three for you these oh. are the uh, mounts for the air filter oh they are like they go yeah that's what they look like they go right here the only thing is uh, i forgot about the ta uh, grabbing some like nuts you know but uh they basically go you just you use pliers to take this one out because uh -huh. it's just broken off it goes right here right here and well they go right here but these ones are okay one two and three yeah so one is just going to be extra but okay. these two they go right there fantastic yeah excellent no, i appreciate that yeah. also speaking of which all right i'm gonna start cleaning there's some some rats been here as you can oh, yeah. see but that's okay I'm gonna get this cleaned up oh, a, nice... a little bit yeah. <laughs> made their own house uh-huh that's we'll okay see how bad they uh got in there i guess sure so this is your uh door lock pump that's what uh, uh opens locks and unlocks your doors and trunk and all that yeah okay. that's the pump it seems to be all good somebody did some repairs here i guess i don't know what those wires are okay i mean that's main thing we're gonna let it dry here because it's a little bit wet you know yeah, maybe definitely. so yeah, cool. Start cleaning all this. Yep, that's there's a fuel tank in the in the trunk. That's that. That is the okay. one. Okay. Yep. That's, that. that's your fuel level sending unit right okay. there. Yeah. Yep. Huh. You know, and even though they have uh, a fuel tank in the trunk, it's still there's still plenty of space in the trunk itself. You know, oh, it's pretty it's amazing. Nice. Yeah. Absolutely yeah oh yeah I clean all this baby up make it nice wow Uh, clean this keys. up yeah 
about this because I would like to get this radio out disconnected. Yeah, you want to you want to change the radio? Yeah, oh, can do that. Certainly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. especially if I'm gonna be driving, mm -hmm. gotta have some music. So. Oh yeah. yeah, I'll show you how to do that. It's easy. So we're gonna try to do as much of the work as possible today, mainly like cleaning, cleaning the drains and all that. And we're gonna take out the, all four door panels, lubricate everything behind, uh, get it all done and prepped. And uh, I will take out the seats, uh, clean everything, and hopefully we can do the brake fluid flush today as well. Yeah, this thing is nice and clean now, uh, except you still have to keep going on cleaning the carpets, but cleaned up this portion the majority of it now i'm gonna start taking the door panels out all right got the door panel out here it is it's a little bit tired a little bit falling apart so i have to fix it a little bit here uh, it's just a couple of clips that i have to put back together but it's not bad actually most of the hooks are in there and everything so yeah and we're gonna clean it all too so this window regulator is bad has an issue here with the pieces broken off so it's gonna have to be replaced so we're just kind of gonna leave it as is for now but we're gonna clean all this area up and the door jam also needs to be cleaned up I'll spray this guy make it nice yeah get this car right good that it still has this film this piece was off I'm gonna reinstall it back on on this guy should go right here like so boom clean this dashboard and everything here that it's coming out nice like so I'm gonna take this door panel off as well so that's cool got all this area greased up now we're gonna spray fluid film and all this Sprayed a bunch of oil on the lock mechanism and all that too. It's gonna be really nice. I'm gonna clean this right here make sure our drains are good I'm gonna lube everything up
to seal it up? Yeah, you can just put anything, like a bag over it or something. Yeah. It doesn't matter, honestly. Yeah, nice. You already got a bunch of stuff cleaned up. Quite a bit. Looks yeah. good. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Awesome. So I got a bunch of stuff looped up here. They're installing the battery now. We're gonna try to run the windows up and down, see how they are. Yeah, this is all lubricated. Lubricated the door stop as well. All the mechanisms in there. Yeah, a lot of love to this car. Amazing. Hey. Batteries in. Cool. Yeah, you do have a new starter on it too. Nice. Yep. That's good. I had to replace that myself. Oh yeah. Was it a pain, huh? Uh, a little it wasn't bit. Too bad. It's from underneath though. You have yeah. to get to it. I mean, it had just you had to just you know know where to like you had to like flip it upside down right. and then twist it the mm -hmm. right way to sneak it through. Yep. So I, I did it pretty painlessly. That's good. Yeah. Hours. That's good. Patience is the key, you know? <laughs> yeah, I do have the old starter. Actually, mm -hmm. the old starter might not even be bad. Oh, okay. So I might have it like as an extra one. Uh, you can always bench test it and see if it's bad or if it's if, if it works, you know? Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. So, yeah, let's go ahead and turn the ignition on. And we're going to try to run these windows up and down a little bit. Um just uh you don't have to start it you just turn the key to on if you, you connected the battery okay cool okay sweet now let's see what happens okay so there you go okay we can add some grease to that now like that actually can lubricate this pivot point right there too Well, yeah, he's also saying this uh, varnish stuff. I can, like, if I take the heat gun to this, I can. It's going to be for Jason. i got two front floor mats for it. So we'll see. Hopefully it fits somehow. Maybe. That all greased up now. Amazing. Awesome. Yeah, well, the battery, like, once the car is running, it could be, it's you know, there's going to be, like, 14 volts usually, so it's going to move faster. But, you know, the main, the main thing was, you know, doing all the service and maintenance to all these moving parts. You know, that's the main thing Definitely. to prevent uh, premature wear and all that. Yeah, that'll... It's never been it's never been done on this car. Yeah, that'll help out. Got all this on, ready to put the door panel back. We attach this film with the clear silicone sealant. I always use that. I'm gonna leave this door panel off for now. I'm gotta find the regulator because it's broken. This is back on. This is back on, ready to install the door panels. Now this cleaned up, about to install the seat back. 
So door panels, we got this door panel back on. That one we're gonna leave it off. We have to glue one of the pieces back together. So it's just gonna stay off for now. I installed that one too. And uh, yeah, they got a bunch of this stuff cleaned up. We're gonna have to order a new blower motor because the old one is bad, it's just seized. Um, still quite a bit of work needs that needs to be done, but a lot of cleanup has been performed. So that's good. Oh uh, yeah, this door panel is all back, all intact and everything. Yeah, slowly but surely. We're gonna continue on. This one needs a new regulator. Okay. Uh, let's see. Go ahead, try to start it. Should be able to. Nice. Okay, let it run a little bit. Let's uh, move this window up. Just like that. Let's move this one up. Actually, check the seat. Back, boom, boom. All right. Uh, let's see. Still good. All right, sweet. Nice. And this one down, up, just like that. Awesome. Oh, look, ABS light is off. Now, check engine light is on. Interesting, oh, okay. Like I said, we're gonna, this door panel is all nice, ready. <coughs> Oops, there we go. We looped up these door locks really good, so now we just gotta exercise them, opening, closing. Oh, look at that. Opens, closes a lot better now. Oh yeah, I haven't even tried it yet. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Yep. She's good. You're also gonna need the belt for it. The belt is pretty cracked up. Yeah, I figured it yeah. yeah. Is there a tensioner fully on it? Yeah, it's got a tensioner, uh, which is this guy, but before you turn this nut, you have to loosen. There's a 19 millimeter bolt you have to loosen on the tensioner assembly okay. before you touch this guy. Yeah. Because you're gonna break the tensioner. Oh, yeah. See. That's good to know. Perfect. Yeah. And then I'll look into the wiring some more for the headlights and stuff like that. Yeah. Because that would be one thing, like, yep. that would uh, be holding me back right And we'll do the brake flush next time, too. Um, yeah. Slowly coming back. Yeah, so you literally just unscrew this. Okay. Uh, let's see, this one will go just like that. We got some good used air filter mounts for it. And then that one, you can unscrew that all the way. Yeah. So the reason why check engine light was on, because uh, we had the uh, air temperature sensor disconnected. Yeah, slowly but surely this car is coming back to life. It's good seeing that. Honestly saying this this fan right here also looks, looks kind of fresh, you know? Like maybe it was replaced at some point. It might be. It looks fresh. Because, uh, you know, if it was original, actually it would be kind of yellowish uh -huh. a little bit. You yeah, know, the plastic, how it ages, kind of like this color. Yeah, that makes sense that it would be yeah. yellow. So with these, you can go as tight as you can by hand. I mean, you can use a little bit of like pliers action later on, but Honestly, as long as it's by hand and tight enough, it yeah. will be fine. Amazing machine. It's going to be a murder mobile. It's, it's going to be so amazing. Oh Look at that grill. It's so nice. Even after all these years, man. It's amazing. Quality. 
Is there anything that can be done to like preserve yeah. the plastic? Uh, so you can actually, you can actually, there's a really good paint which will look really nice on this mm -hmm. because it looks pretty good. It's not really broken or anything. So you can actually take it all apart uh, and then you can like wash it, clean it. And then there's a really good paint that will look really good. There's a satin paint. Um, I can send you later with uh, what it looks like. Actually, you can coat yeah. it. You can paint it, actually. Is there a, and, there's a way to take the whole grill off? Yeah, yeah, it's easy. There's uh, four. There's uh, actually one, two, three, four, five. I think it's like six, eight millimeter screws. Like, you got to open the hood. Yeah. It's from underneath. From underneath yeah. mm -hmm. I might actually have to do that because I do want the grill yeah. to be blacked out. Mm -hmm. So, and then... Yeah. Um, or you can just get another grill. Like they, they sell actually some interesting aftermarket grills too that don't oh, yeah. look too bad. I mean, I'm not really a huge fan of aftermarket grills, but yeah. some of them might look pretty okay, I would say. Right. But yeah, but if you want, yeah, you can definitely. I, I was thinking about because I want to have fun with the vinyl and right. color, and this would be sure. easy to do the lines without mm -hmm. hurting anything, you know, mm -hmm. and it would still look good. Yeah. So. Yeah. So there is a yeah. tail in the fog light. Yeah. Actually, yeah. And the shiny and the shiny. Yeah. Probably, yeah, definitely. But if this was a little darker and I put vinyl wrap on the chrome part, yeah, it would look good. Maybe leave that one chrome strip on the, on the side and the other little. Did oh, all no. this stuff. Do they it's sell amazing. these the mirror, like the pieces? Yep, correctly? they sell the, the seals. Yeah, they the do seals? sell the seals. Yeah. Okay. So I'll have order to, some seals too. I'll have to check that out. Those are a little bit of an eyesore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, it wasn't too bad. And then uh can look at some uh for the antenna seal. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've seen a se the seal on Amazon for like $15. Yeah. You know it's funny the radio was malfunctioning like mm -hmm. turning on and off. Oh really? A whole bunch and when it was doing that this the same thing, the antenna kept going up and down. Going out of control, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like what are you doing with me? <laughs> you know, leave me alone. Yeah. Oh, I would love another three. Yeah. Three hundred D emblem. I'm sure I could pick up one of those. It's all like it, it, like you didn't you bought you bought it without it, right? Basically, or I, or it came so, apart. I don't think I took yeah. it off. Huh? Yeah. I don't remember. I don't think I have it around. Yeah. So I'll I've definitely got, look for some. Yeah, a new one like to just the right size. Mm -hmm. Just so you have it. Yeah, totally. Well, that and a little bit of trim adhesive. Emblem trim adhesive for you. A little bit of like leather conditioner will make it even more shiny on this leather. Yeah. For sure, it's good stuff. I want to like uh, layer. I'm, I'm gonna like get the uh, leather cleaner on there. And, yeah. Like, get it spread around with like one of those paint Saturate brushes. Saturate that. Yeah. Yeah. Let it kind of oh, yeah. sit for a moment and then wipe it clean with the. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. That is it for today's day. We actually, I think, we did a lot of work. Uh, honestly, we lubricated everything, all the windows regulators all that stuff we just need to get a couple more parts we put um two door panels back in two other door panels one we couldn't put in because uh, we have to re-glue one of the hooks so that's waiting and then for the other right rear door uh we have to do or get the uh regulator for that side the window regulator so it's also waiting a little bit okay but we did, a lot of, we did a lot of cleanup and all that. We did a lot of work, honestly. So we're just gonna need to get some more parts for that car. So the owner is, it's on the owner's list. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. So I'll come back at some point again. So we're gonna continue the journey.